give his inspirational message, let us all welcome the CEO of Purple Cow, Mr. John Smolo. You know, when you look at me, you're all so young. But I'm sure that if you look at me, you see a guy that looks pretty old, right? But believe it or not, even though I'm in my 40s today, I could look back, it seems like maybe just a few blinks of my eye, and I was sitting at school just like you were, so young. And I remember during those times looking at people that were older than me and seeing what they were doing for work, what they were doing for their life. And I would often wonder to myself, what would my life be like when I got older? Would I be happy? Would I have enough money? What kind of job would I have? I know that a lot of you will look at someone such as myself and say, this guy John, he's a CEO. He comes from America. His life must have been very easy. But my life didn't start off that way. When I was young, the same age as many of you, I lived with my mom and with my sister, and we were very poor. We lived in the dirt with a lot of trees around us. We didn't have any running water. We didn't have any electricity to turn on lights. We didn't have any television. When I had to go to school, I had to walk more than two kilometers to get to the bus, and then the bus would take me to the school. When I got there, I was one of the poorest kids in my class. I had very old clothes that didn't fit me, and sometimes people would make fun of me and tease me because I was one of the poorer kids in my school. But I remember thinking that isn't where I want to be throughout all of my life. And when I was younger, I thought when I get older, what I really dream to do is to own a business. In my mind, if you owned a business, you were able to make more money. How do you dream of your life when you graduate high school, when you get a bit older? What do you want your life to be like? Just take a moment to think about that. I know you're looking at me like I have the answers for you, but I don't. It's up for you to think about what your life will be like when you get older. And the secret to deciding how your life will be like when you get older is how you live your life right now. The choices that you make in your life today will shape your tomorrow. The decisions that you make a week from now will impact your life a month from now. The choices that you make this year will shape who you become year after year. Look at this plant right here. It's kind of big right now, right? But how did this plant start? It was just a small seed one day, right? But then it needed rain, probably felt a little thirsty just as a seed. It needed to be watered and it began to grow. Maybe it suffered through typhoons, bad weather, but that little seed kept growing and going through good times and bad times, sun and rainy weather, until it became this full-grown plant that you see in front of you today. All of us have the same 24 hours in a day. It's the one way that human beings are all equal. We get to decide how we're gonna use the time in our life. And so as each day goes by, I want to encourage you to do what I asked you to do before. When you're lying in bed at night and it becomes quiet around you, take some time in your mind to think, how do I want my life to be as I grow and I get older? What do I want my life to be as I become older? And the thoughts that you have in your head, I want you to think about what it will take to achieve your dreams in life. There's a lot of people around you that care about you, that want to support you, that want to encourage you. 
But I want to encourage you as a people to support each other, encourage each other, bring out the best in each other. If someone is making a decision that's not a good decision, encourage them to do the right thing. And inside of yourself, be very clear about what your dreams are for your life and never give up doing whatever it takes to make your dreams come true. Thank you for giving me the time to spend with you today and I wish you all the very best. God bless.